Let's see if we can get Blossom out here. Come here. You want to come all the way out? Come on. You can do it. Oh, look oh. at the, the reach for it. Oh, the claws are going. That's a pretty good Instagram post right there. Let's see if we can get that shot. Oh, that's perfect. So cute. You're going to get so many likes, Blossom. Australia. I think we have all been excited for the Brave Wilderness team to finally explore this epic continent, where the goal is to get up close with some of its most iconic animal species. And while we did break trail off into the outback, don't worry, those episodes are soon to come, we also spent time working with some of the country's top wildlife reserves. Located in Nome, a small town just south of Townsville in North Queensland, the first place we visited was the Billabong Sanctuary. Home to over 50 native species, from koalas and kangaroos, to dingoes and massive saltwater crocodiles. This family-owned and operated establishment is without question one of Australia's premier sanctuaries. For nearly 35 years, they have been contributing to conservation efforts while also providing the public with a hands-on education about wildlife, which in turn has probably made them one of Queensland's top ecotourism attractions. We will be getting to know several of their permanent animal residents, many of which can be considered Australian icons. But to get started, let's meet one bizarre yet adorable creature that I bet most of you never even knew existed. Now, the last time I entered an enclosure like this one, I was attacked by monkeys and one latched onto my arm. Not a good day for Coyote. So I'm kind of hoping when I enter this enclosure, it's gonna be a little better than my last experience. I have a feeling that this is gonna be pretty epic. Are you guys ready to meet Blossom the Possum? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, there she is. Come on in guys. You good, you good? Oh my goodness. Look at you. Hi. That's a possum? That is the brush-tailed possum. The largest possum species here in Australia and an absolutely adorable creature. Hello there, how are you? Now let's give her a second to get acclimated. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can gently pet her on top of her head. Hi. Oh my gosh, this may be one of the most adorable animals we've ever featured on the show. And when you're thinking possum, I'm sure if you're in the United States, you're thinking, oh, you mean those sort of rat looking creatures that are running around at night with the bald, long, skinny tails? This creature here though, certainly doesn't resemble a typical possum. Oh, I see, I see. You reaching out to try to grab onto me? Let's see. Oh, yeah, no, that's a finger. You don't want to eat that. Actually, let me see if we can get a little bit of leaf here. Let's see if Blossom is hungry. Now, they specialize in eating leaves. Here you go. That's a little bit of spinach right there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, so gentle. And Mark, look at these front feet here. See if you can zoom in on those. Their hands look just like the hands of a normal possum. Look at how sharp those claws are. And as you can imagine, this is a semi-arboreal species, which means that they spend most of their time up in the trees. Okay, let's bring a little more spinach in here. Let's see if we can get Blossom out here. Come here. You wanna come all the way out? Come on, you can do it. Oh, look oh. at the, the reach for it. Oh, the claws are going. I know, she's like, oh, you gonna go back in there? Now, as you can see, it is daytime right now. Blossom is primarily nocturnal. You see those big buggy eyes? gives her amazing vision at night. And of course, those large ears indicate that she has excellent hearing. Now, I would really love for you to come out of that box there, Blossom, because I think everybody wants to see your prehensile tail, which all possum species have. But yours is not like the typical possum tail, is it? It's not. Oh, that's, a, that's what we call a possum kiss right there, nose to nose with Blossom. Okay, I think maybe a little more spinach and you wanna come out. Oh, look what Coyote's got. Look at those whiskers. Keep coming, you can do it. Oh, those claws are so sharp. All she needs to do is latch on to the spinach with those claws. 
And she's kind of like, uh, I don't really want to fully wake up for this episode. All right, let's see. Come on, come on out of here. Let's see all the way out here. What if I put it there, Blossom? Then what happens? You gonna come all the way out? You can do it. Everybody wants to see you. This is your big moment. Your big YouTube moment. What do you think? She's like, mm, I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, look at this. Pumpkin. Perhaps one of Blossom's favorites. Oh, 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 come. oh you missed it. Right here. It's right here. Look. I wonder if she'll walk out on my arm. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. You know what she did there? That's called the trick move. I was thinking, oh, if I put the pumpkin just out in front of me, she'll walk out onto my arm. And all she did is grab that pumpkin and then retreat back into her little hide box. Look at that. Now, this is the trickiest part, getting Blossom to come out in the daylight. Can I lift up the top of her little? Okay, we're gonna move the top of her box here. Up here, Blossom. Here come the climbing skills. This way. We're gonna work for this meal. Here she comes. Come on, keep coming. Oh, look how cute that is. Look at her little nose. Can we kind of lift her up there? There we go. Oh, I see the tail. There's the tail. Let's see if I can keep her distracted up here and look at the tail. See this prehensile tail? Look at how bushy it is. That's what really separates them from many other possum species. Yeah, feel that. Oh, wow. Right? But feel the underside is just like latex. Oh, wow. Look at that prehensile nature right there. It's curling around my fingers. And this is actually the second largest possum species in the world and the largest species here in Australia. And the face almost looks like the face of a kangaroo. Now, as we know, this species is also a marsupial, one of the quintessential Australian marsupial species. And they get a lot of their moisture from the leaves that they eat. And you can see the spinach is very, very juicy. Look at all that juice coming out of there. That's the good stuff, huh? You look pretty cute just inside that little enclosure there. What if I take a picture of you like that? That's a pretty good Instagram post right there. Let's see if we can get that shot. You guys ready? Put this right there. What if you look at that? Oh yeah, there we go. You use this to kind of get you honed in. Oh, that's perfect. So cute. You're gonna get so many likes, Blossom. That's the most adorable face. She's like, well, well where'd this bench go? Where did I put it there? All right, there you go. What do you think? You gonna come out? I like how she's able to, to grab like a hand. Like a... Look at that, she can completely hold on. And what's really interesting, kind of like the feet of the kinkajou, the pads of her feet almost feel like latex. And that allows them to have incredible purchase when they're climbing around on the limbs of trees up in the treetop canopy. Well, how cool was this? Spending our afternoon hanging out with the brush-tailed possum. There you go. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. What's going on, Coyote Pack? Winter is coming which means it's starting to get cold here in Ohio, and most of us are bundling up. Now, some of us are wearing fleeces, and some of us are from Florida. Yeah, that's a snowsuit. But when it comes to me, I simply layer up by wearing as many t-shirts as I possibly can. Oh, that's a Brave Wilderness t-shirt. That's right, Mark, an official Brave Wilderness t-shirt, which is available now at the BW store. Whoa, do people know that we have a Brave Wilderness store? Well, if they didn't, they know now. Do you guys want to see some of these epic designs that we have ready for the holidays? Uh, cue the fashion show montage. Here we go. Okay, guys, so you see this shirt here? This is the gray official Brave Wilderness logo. I love this one because it's resistant in all climates. Now, underneath this shirt, wait for it. We have the BW logo shirt. You see that? The classic BW symbol that you'll oftentimes see on YouTube and up in the corner of the videos as the watermark. You want to see the next one? I bet you do. Here we go. 
Watermark's on the other side, by the way. Nope. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> See that right there? That's the Brave Wilderness logo on a brown shirt, totally camouflaged in the environment. Ready for the next one? Whoa, a blue shirt. Be brave, stay wild, the blue version. This is absolutely one of my favorite shirts. See how the orange really kicks out? This is the opposite of camouflage, blue and orange together at the same time. Be brave, stay wild, ready for the next shirt? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's just like the blue and the orange one, only different colors, get it? How many shirts do you have? It's an endless supply of shirts. In fact, we have around a million designs on the website right now. No, no. no not a million designs? How many? Like, like 12. Like 12. 12 is close to a million though, and I've got all of them on right now. This is actually a youth size extra large. It's pretty tight, but there are plenty more where this came from. We've got adult sizes and kid sizes. Wait, that's a kid shirt? That's a kid shirt right there. All right. Okay. Now, aside from shirts, you can also buy the official Leather Walker Coyote Peterson hat. That's right. And if you don't want to wear a leather cowboy hat, guess what else we have? Ball caps. Ready? We've got the gray one. Check that out. Pretty cool, right? We've also got the black one. Check that out. And we've also got the blue one, which matches pretty much everything. Now, aside from hats, we also have posters. You guys like posters, right? Tour poster. Now, if you don't want a poster, we also have the Brave Adventures book. Looking pretty epic. This is an autographed copy. And aside from that, we've also got stickers. Lots and lots of stickers. Now you're gonna pick all that up, right? I'm gonna pick all that up because we don't want to litter in the environment. Guys, right now all of the Brave Wilderness elves who magically look just like Chance are hard at work in the Brave Wilderness factory, packing up gifts for all the good little Coyote Pack boys and girls. So make your way over to the Brave Wilderness store and pick something up for your favorite pack member. Order as soon as you can so that your gifts show up just in time for the holidays. Whew, it's really getting cold out here. I better put my shirts back on. If you thought Blossom the Possum was adorable, make sure to go back for an extra dose of cute and watch the episode we filmed with B-Rad the Baby Sloth. Hi, buddy. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.